Okay, I think this is working. Let's get this show on the road. Hi, boys and girls. It's me, Butch. Uh, my name is Terry David Silvercloud. I'm not native. It just sounds that way. I'm 77 years old. I live in Vancouver, British Columbia. And today, what I want to talk to you about is the uh, Veritasium's page uh, the big misconception about electricity. Now, if you pay close attention to uh, the beginning of the video there, and you look at the battery and the switch, you will notice that the, uh, you should notice, I'm hoping you'll notice, that uh, he has the uh, positive side of the battery connected directly to the load. That's very bad wiring. You'd never do that in household wiring. Uh, and I'll get to the danger there. And he's using some false equivalencies by uh, comparing alternating current and direct current because they behave quite differently. Uh, alternating current can very easily uh, be sent through just one single wire and it's not done except in uh, special cases because there's some downsides. When, when uh, streetcar trolleys first started happening they used a single wire until they discovered that the sewer lines were falling apart through electrolysis happening <laughs> in the location of the lines. Uh, so that's real quick if you understood what that was about. Um, so in the original drawing uh, you can see that he has the positive side connected directly to the uh, the bulb and the switch is on the negative side. Now that may support his argument particularly in, in case of uh, uh, alternating current in particular. So if we just look at my whiteboard here where I've sort of tried to draw out his circuit and uh, my circuit. So in Veritasium circuit the positive pole is connected directly to the load. Uh, that's a really bad idea. You should never do that. Uh, but it would support his idea that if there were sufficient voltage down here it would be present up here all the time, ready to go all the time. Uh, the reason that's not done and why a good electrician would never do that is that if this was ready to go all the time and you went to change the light bulb and you stuck your finger in there while you were touching a, something like a bathroom tap or a ground, you would be electrocuting yourself. So the proper way is I have a generator down here. Uh, on the positive or the, the hot side, the part that's pushing and pulling 60 times a second, those waves are nearly 3,500 miles long, the waves that are coming out of there. So within uh, one second, one, within one sixtieth of a second, the wave has already gone over 3,000 miles. So it's, it's really fast, I admit it. But in household wiring, you would put the switch between the power supply and the load, and that's to keep somebody from getting electrocuted if they stick their finger in the load. And the same thing should have happened. Veritasium should uh, have put a switch on the positive side and not, not there. Uh, so he's, I don't know if he's deliberately tricking us by uh, trying to do... Uh, these kind of things or, or, or what. Maybe it was just a, oops, sorry about that. Maybe it was just a little trick he was pulling on us. So um, where do I want to go from here? Uh, I think I covered it. Oh, the capacitance thing. Uh, a meter apart, you would have to be into hundreds and thousands of volts for there to be any capacitance. Capacitance is a reaction. Induction is what causes the capacitance. Uh, one plate 
this one up here at the top has a charge on it where's my camera there we are one plate at the top up here has a charge on it it's, it's really alive this one down here is just a bunch of free electrons nothing better to do hanging out and this guy up here would like nothing better than to get in touch with this guy down here but there's air in between and if it gets close enough though the field around up here which it does have a field it's ionizing the area around it if it gets close enough it will ionize atoms in here and if it's an alternating current a current will flow through the air seemingly but it's not really a current um, it's it's an induced current it's the same kind of uh, thing that happens when you're powering your smartphone on a charger uh, your charger emits uh, an electromagnetic field which doesn't go very far that's why you have to put your phone right on top of it and inside your phone there's a little electromagnet antenna that picks up the field of the charging unit which is AC and it charges your phone we do it all the time Tesla when he first was working the genius seemed not to recognize that he had invented radio and he kept wanting to transmit energy through the air and didn't seem to realize that he would have to have an enormous generator for it to do anything uh, but young Marconi saw through it right away and he thought well you just need a little bit through the air and we can jiggle that signal a bit and we got ourselves radio and so Tesla missed out on radio waves, but waves were all brand new. Even Einstein was, in his original relativity, didn't even think about waves. 1916, we, they weren't talking about waves yet. So, where am I at? Go on and on and on and on and on. Um, have I done everything here? I've talked about the capacitance. That's sort of silly. Uh, Yes, there could be capacitance, but eh, forget it. That's not the reason. The reason that the energy happened quite quickly is that he had the energized pole connected directly to the load, directly. And uh, so if there was enough voltage, there would already be some uh, uh, fluctuations happening, you know, right near the load. You know, up here, they would there would be some fluctuations happening there. Uh, and with AC, you just you, you just wouldn't do that. No electrician worth his license would ever connect the hot wire directly to a load. Uh, you'd lose your license. <laughs> Seriously, you'd lose your license if they found you. You you could kill somebody. It's dangerous. So uh, Veritasium, you're a brilliant man. I admire you, but uh, I wouldn't want you to wire my house. I I think you might. Uh, you might be electrocuting me. I'm not an electrician, but uh, I've wired... I can't think of any places I've wired now. My own house twice. I had two different houses and uh, renovations I've done. You know, electrons... Electricians follow the, the electrons. They don't think like electronic people do. They, they follow the electron path. And, uh, they're very careful about AC and... Uh, I'll admit I've been stupid enough to work on live alternating current circuits, but I know exactly what I'm doing, and uh, I'm extraordinarily safe. Uh, even when I'm doing it, I make sure I'm on an insulated ladder, a, a feather light. Feather light, those bright yellow ladders, they, they don't conduct electricity. That's why you'll see electricians with feather lights. It's a, a fiberglass uh, ladder. <laughs> so. Uh, should I shut up? Of course you should. Am I done? I don't know. Am I done? I should have been done a long time ago. Let's go to here. And with a look at all, I got it right. He tried to trick us, or else uh, his wiring's wrong. He's partly right, uh, but too many false equivalencies for me. Uh, I don't like the video because it put too many wrong ideas in people's heads who aren't anywhere near as smart as him or know as much as me and I'm not really quite as smart as he is, I don't think. But maybe he knows more than me. I don't know who's smarter. I'm betting he knows more than I do. So I'll shut up. Uh, 
Loves the guy, but he made a big boo-boo. Bye.